the question we're, we're all struggling with is, can we afford to use our land to produce energy? Or does it only have room to deal with food production? You know, the answer to that question, if people are being honest, is not that's right or that's wrong. The answer is it depends. Our goal is to advance the conversation. There's been a lot of fighting around this topic. We've reached a lot of sort of standstills. And we think that these questions are crucial to advancing the sustainability of not only biofuels, but of agriculture. You know, sustainable biofuels is not just about biofuels. It really is about sustainable agriculture. You know, because of all the problems we have with oil, we absolutely would like to find some of these uh, better, cleaner fuels. Uh, I think the last few years have, have shown just the kind of the productivity of agriculture for fuel uh, has consequences that have to be taken seriously. But I think we need to have, both at a state and federal level, we need to have policies in place, and this is something that we're working on a lot, is getting policies in place that support farmers to make those transitions. They're going to need help from the government to do that. The indirect land use changes that people are debating about for biofuels are a little more subtle. If I take a, an acre of food, agricultural land, out of use for food, and I devote it to an energy crop or, an, or a biofuel, then somewhere else, somewhere in the world, someone's going to have to make up for that by clearing more land. Um, so what we're trying to do is to bring the food versus fuel and the land use debate uh, up to a level that says, look, let's just look at the whole global system of agriculture uh, and try and figure out where all the levers are that we can pull to make this system work. And if there's room left over when we're done for fuel, then it's probably a good idea to do that. In fact, it's probably necessary. Mm -hmm.